Continuing now with the last video and this remnant that comes out of Babylon, because as we saw in Revelation 18, 4, God in these end times is calling his people out of Babylon, that they don't participate in her sins and then they don't receive of her plagues and God's calling this people out. And he wants them to put up that wall to restore the temple we are the temple of God to put those things in our lives back in order. And as we saw last time in Ezra chapter 9, that God is telling them that they must separate themselves from the people of the land. Christians are out there loving the world, the things of the world. I'm not saying they're unsaved, but they just love the world. They're out there drinking with the drinkers. They're partying with the partiers. They're in the sports, they're in this thing, they're loving, they're worshiping these people, these singers, these dancers, these movie stars. We're to separate ourselves, that remnant that hear his voice and come out. So God has told through Ezra that they are separate themselves from the peoples of the world. And then we see in Ezra, chapter 9, verse 4, going on from then. So these people... The Ezra has heard that they're mixed, that they're mixed with the world and the peoples of the world. And then in Ezra chapter 9 verse 4, it says, Then everyone who trembled at the words of the Lord God of Israel, everyone who trembled, everyone who saw these things, heard his voice, heard what he's required, everyone who trembled at his words, then everyone who trembled at the words of the God of Israel on account of the unfaithfulness of the exiles gathered to me, and I sat appalled until the evening offering. So these people who trembled, they've heard the word of the Lord. They're trembling. They're coming up. And he's sitting here. I sat appalled until the evening offering. But at the evening offering, I arose from my humiliation, even with my garment and my robe torn. Remember, he tore his garments. He tore his robe when he heard these things, when he saw the condition of the people. And I fell on my knees and stretched out my hands to the Lord my God. He sees these things. He hears these things. He falls on his knees. He's ripped his garments. He's determined to hear the word of the Lord, and to do the will of God. And in verse 6, And I said, O oh my God, I am ashamed and embarrassed to lift up my face to thee, my God. For our iniquities, I am the same. I was there. My wife, you, we've all been slaves in Babylon. And we're to have that place, that, if you, like it, John said, if you say that you have no sin, the truth is not in you. We've all sinned and fallen short of the glory of God. And he says, oh my God, I am, I am ashamed and embarrassed to lift up my face to thee, my God. For our iniquities, mine, yours, the people of God, this remnant that he's calling out of Babylon. For our iniquities have risen above our heads. And our guilt has grown even to the heavens. So we've all sinned. We've all fallen short of the glory of God. But what's he saying? Come out of Babylon. Repent and prepare the way of the Lord.